Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelsey and today I'm going to be showing you how I crochet my bra cups. So, um, I like to use Lily Sugar and Cream yarn. It's 100% cotton and it's a worsted weight yarn. I have a H hook 5 millimeter crochet hook and I also have some scissors. The first thing we're gonna do is make a slip stitch. So I'm going to wrap my yarn around my two fingers twice. Hold that down. I'm gonna take the back one, pull it over the front, but not all the way over your fingers. Then we're gonna take this one right here, and take that one and pull it all the way off your fingers, but make sure this one still stays on there. And we're gonna take the end, pull that. And you should have a little loop that is able to tighten down. So after we get our slip stitch, the first thing I'm going to do is chain 14. So the reason that I chained 14 is because I am going to be making a C cup today. Um, normally what I would do is I would do 10 chains for an A, 12 chains for a B, 14 for a C, and so on. Adding to every cup, cup size you go. But if you want your overall cup to be longer, you just need to make your base chain longer. Those are just the measurements that I do. So once we have our base chain, we're going to place a single crochet in this second chain from the hook. We're just going to keep placing single crochets all the way down our chain until we get to that last link. All right, so as you can see here, I've done single crochets all the way up my chain and the only thing I have left is this last chain right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place three single crochets right here in this top stitch. One, two, and three. And if you can sort of tell, I tried to work my way around as I did my three stitches. So now I can continue crocheting down the opposite side of our base chain. So I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to just keep on single crocheting right down the other side of our chain that we did. All right, so I have just finished that. As you can see, this is where we started. We crocheted all the way up this side, did three at the top, and then we crocheted back down the other side. So from here, I'm just going to turn it, and then I'm going to start single crocheting back up this side. If you want to chain one before you turn, that is fine. I usually don't just because it looks cleaner to me. All right, so I just crocheted all the way up that side and what I have right here is those three single crochets that we did in the top stitch on our main chain. So what I'm going to do is place a single crochet in the first one, and then I'm going to place three single crochets right in that middle stitch from before. One, two, and three. Whenever I started doing this, I had a really hard time staying on that center stitch, so it will probably be helpful for beginners if you place a stitch marker right in that middle stitch every single time you do the three single crochets. So after I do that three single crochets in the top stitch, I'm just going to continue with the single crochets down the other side. All right, so I made it all the way back to the bottom and that is pretty much it for this pattern. We're just going to be repeating that over and over and over again. So from here, I would turn my cup, start with my single crochets up the other side, and then I would work that until I get to this center stitch. I would place three single crochets there and then I would just continue down the other side. 
So I'm going to work this for a little bit and then come back and talk about some sizing things. All right, so I just wanna check back in with you guys. I have been working, I've done eight rows so far and it is starting to make a triangle type thing. Normally for an A cup, I'll do 10 rows. For a B cup, I'll do 12 rows, C cup 14 rows, and then, you know, adding two every time you go up a size. Um, the more rows you add, obviously, the bigger it will get. The longer you make your base chain, the taller it's going to be. You can mess around with this however you want and make whatever sizes you want. But for this particular cup, I'm going to be doing 14 rows. All right, so here I am with my finished bra cup. Like I said, this is about a medium size C cup. Um, so for the base chain, I did 14, and then for the rows, I did 14 rows as well. Um, this just gives it a really even, nice triangle shape. This is actually the base that I use for most of my crochet crop top and bikini top designs. It's just really quick and easy and it is nice. Um, thank you so much for watching. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Those are all gonna be in the link down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video for more crochet content. Thank you and happy crocheting.